Well, from those DIY projects for the kids to something for adults. If you love stories behind products, and in this case a drink, this is a good one. Just get ready to stay up all night with these bold flavors. Julia Sargent is mixing up a midnight espresso martini. Now this is a recipe of this liqueur that has been passed down for generations. So I gotta hear the story behind it. <laughs> yes, well, um, my grandma actually invented it in the 1970s. It took her a while because she kept the recipe in a safety deposit box, wouldn't even let my mother have it. And eventually we convinced her to bring it to market and let us get a little look at that recipe. Okay, so we're talking, this is top secret. You can't see it, mom can't see it. Right. Okay, <laughs> well, I think that this really would maybe be great for a midnight espresso martini, something like that. Can we get started? Absolutely. Okay. Um, cool thing about this, I'll actually have you rim that glass if you okay. look for me. The cool thing about this product, Belinda, is that it is so versatile. You can really do so much with it. Um, in fact, my father last night made it with peppermint schnapps for a little holiday treat. Okay, and you told me before, go with the chocolate, then go sprinkles? Yes. Okay, and it's gonna make just for that perfect martini look. Mm -hmm. So you could maybe have this while the kids are doing something for right. Halloween. This could be for the adults who are supervising all the kiddos at the parties. Exactly, exactly. And what are you mixing there exactly? Yes, what I used in here is two ounces of midnight espresso, Okay. Uh, 0.5 ounces of any caramel vodka, 0.5 of vanilla vodka, and I add a little bit of this salted caramel syrup and it just gives it that nice little kick. And you actually have a lot of great recipes on your website. We yeah. kind of took a look at that and they all have fun names that have me in it for Midnight Espresso. Yes, yes. We uh, shorten Midnight Espresso to me. So we have fun with that for sure. And what are some of the other names? Um, like Take Me Home Tonight, um, you know, fun things like that. That is so cute. And okay. what I just added is some Nitro Cold Brew from the Roastery mm -hmm. whose coffee beans we actually use in this product. Okay, I love this because it's a recipe from Kansas using those coffee beans that are grown right here. Yes, everything we use is locally made. Okay. It's really supporting Kansas business. Okay, and you're kind of pouring that through kind of a sift it looks like? Yes, a strainer so I don't get that ice in that martini. Okay, well that looks delicious. Is there anything else we need to do? Um, a lot of times I am very, I like to you know add a little flair. I'll float a little bit of cream on the top, just kind of like that and it sits on the top, just gives it a little bit extra something. Okay, so this has been passed down in your family mm -hmm. for so long, and I know you guys have a great time showing it locally. Yes, yes. Um, all kinds of events, uh, brew at the zoo, things like that, and um, yes. There's the whole crew there, <laughs> yeah. enjoying it. Yeah, we have fun. That was actually um, at STEMS. Okay, well that's awesome. Yes. Now, can I try this? I mean, I know I'm at work and everything. No, please There's not do. There's too much alcohol in it? No. Okay, so we're gonna try this because it looks so delicious. And it tastes so good. Yeah. It's so easy to drink. Yeah. And something that really, I mean, it has to mean a lot to you. We've got your mother here in the studio. Mm -hmm. All you guys. Yes. Um, we really love doing it. It's kind of a side thing for all of us. And we enjoy going out there talking about how my grandma just really has always loved this product. And I mean, you drink it and you love it. And it just brings people together. And before we go, though, you have decaf options, but your grandma, there was a funny story where she used to stay up all night. I need to hear that. Yeah. No, that was actually my mother that stayed up all night. Oh, mom. Okay. Yes, yes. And so uh, we made that decaf option because uh, there's a lot of people like her who don't uh, take well to caffeine past a certain time of you know the night, mm -hmm. and this way you can enjoy me all hours of the day and night. Julia, thank you so much for coming on. The story I heard was she would stay up all night doing laundry. So, I mean, as long as you're getting the household chores done. Right. Okay, thank you. Now, 